Firstly, I would like to thank Michael Ede for joining us on the YouTube membership section under the Smart Brewer. Good on you, Michael. Thanks for joining us. For everyone else, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, and drop me a comment below and say hello. I love talking to you guys. I learn a lot from you. Cheers. G'day everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Pierre, and this is Simple Home Brew. Forgive my croaky voice. I'm I'm a bit stuffed. <laughs> I did a gig last night and um, I worked all day today and yesterday as well. So I've only had a few hours sleep. It's the first gig in eight months. It's been hard to do it all again. Things I've learnt uh, when I don't play. By not playing, I lost interest in playing music and I haven't touched the guitar or bass for quite some time now. And um, getting back behind it and playing in the band was a bit different because I wasn't gig fit. And that's because I've been drinking lots of this stuff. Now this one is called Cranking IPA by Bent Spoke. Here's the label. And these guys won an award in 2017. They won a silver medal in the International Brewing Awards, which is really good. So I'm hoping that this will be a good tasting beer. Grab my glass which I haven't broken yet, like the last few I've done. We'll open the can up, let's see if we can hear a hiss. Yeah, little hiss, not much smoke. It's going to be more like the fruity IPAs I'm used to tasting. Now my next beers I'm gonna do are gonna be more, uh, I don't know, they're gonna be more, less IPA. A bit more of, an alternative drink. So what I'm doing is I'm doing these tasting videos so I get an understanding on the different flavors of beers that are out there and a way of communicating to my own brain what good beers taste like. Lots of carbonation. I'm looking in the rear, in the uh, video screen at the moment. The coloring on your playback is a little bit darker than I can see in real life. So it's a bit different. It's probably a little bit darker. Uh, it's, it's about the same. It's about the same. It's not too much different than what you're seeing. Very smooth, sweet smell. Um, I've got a feeling this one's going to be a sweet one. Now I'm going to say this is their write-up on it. Uh, they call it, it's a similar beer to West Coast IPA. Floral on the nose. Notes of citrus and pine. Uh, medium bodied with a nice punch of hops and a solid malt finish. Crankshaft won a silver medal in 2017 International Brewing Awards, which I just talked about. A great beer for lovers of big, full-flavoured brews. It cranks. It's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, Crankshaft was the highest-ranked IPA in the Gab's Hottest 100 Aussie Craft Beers poll in 2018 for the second year in a row. Now, that's not a bad little thing. And, yeah, of course, they obviously deserved it because if they won it, they entered it, and a lot of people have uh, awesome beers, they don't enter into competition. Okay, we've got that usual fruity smell, and the pine, I can smell the pine smell. Um, yeah, I can definitely smell the pine smell. And I can smell the, the citrusy, it's not overly bearing as a citrus, and what I can really smell is the malt. That's punching through nicely, and it's actually sweet smelling. All right, time for a taste. Slightly bitter. The IBU is 35. The alcohol volume is 5.8. It's actually quite high. Can't tell though. Very easy drinking. It's not. It's not awful. And I, like I said, a lot of beers I've been grabbing lately have not been bad at all. But I admit I haven't been taking the odd, the, the odd ones off the shelf. I've been actually grabbing the ones that look like they have won awards and are good quality. And I'm right. It is quite sweet. I'm getting a sweet tang to it. Um, the bitterness is a bit, it is a beautiful beer. I do like IPAs and this one's very nice. It's probably not sessionable. It's a little bit sweeter than I'm used to. Um, you could probably have a can when you get home from work and just relax, but maybe stick with just one. Uh, very tasty, very nice. It's, it's like a lot of the other ones out there. What else am I getting here? There's nothing odd about it. 
it's very good. Um, what they use is Equinot uh, hops in it. I believe Equinot is like the Equinot with a Q. This is spelled with a K. I'm not sure if that's the same. Uh, it's got Simcoe, Citra, and Centennial. So that's what's in here. They don't tell you how much or anything like that, but it's you know, high in hops. Not overbearing in hops, just nice. Very soft on the tongue. Really, really nice flavouring. The mouth feel isn't um, dirty or dusty. Um, what would you call that? Sometimes you drink a dry wine and you get this like shrinkage in your mouth like you're sucking on a lemon. Um, you get nothing of that. It's really, really, really good. A very, very nice beer. I do like it. And I'm going to polish off my four pack, which cost me $18 at Dan Murphy's. <clears throat> That's this one here, and I told you it's not sessionable. I will drink these tonight because I want to relax and edit some videos that I haven't uploaded for a while. Um, yeah, so those of you who watch these videos regularly and watch my other brewing videos, thank you. Thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting this channel in this aspect. Um, I do vlog a little bit through this, so I'll tell you about my life. I can tell you I've been working flat out. I've been practicing a lot of my bass, but I didn't practice singing. And funny enough, when I did my gig, I got cramps in my sides and my stomach and my, oh, I've never had that before because I'm not gig fit and it hurt. I'm getting old. I'm uh, going on a little bit of a diet. I want to get back to normal weight again and get back to fitness. And I'm starting to ride my bike to work again. So I'm going to just get back to normal again, to my normal way. It's not normal to everyone else. It's just normal to me. And uh, brewing wise, I'm going to keep brewing. At the moment, I've got six kegs full. I've got one brimstone IPA that I've made that's already looking really nice. It smells really good. It needs about another two weeks, a week to two weeks to age a little. I'm going to release it and do a tasting video on it in the next two weeks. So hopefully I'll have something for you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hold off on brewing a little bit. I'm going to just going to do vlogs, a little bit of this and a bit of that. And I've got a really good advent calendar that I'm going to go through. It's 24 beers that I'm going to drink every single day and I'm going to share them with you. You can join me if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it'd be great if you could. Signing off on this one. Next week I'll have another one and uh, it's not going to be an IPA. It's going to be something else. It might be a stout or something like that, but it is summer, so I might try something dry. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. If you have any suggestions for this time around, let me know in the chat. Let me know what you think I should taste next. Guys, thanks. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for being part of Simple Home Brew. I have a Facebook account, I have Simple Home Brew Group, which is about 700 odd members. If you want to join us, jump on Facebook, check it out. So I'd like to end this one by saying, Arrivederci.